Oh. Chapter Escort Cardinal Borgia. In mid-May, the scales are still tipped toward the Imperial Army. However, because they are unable to break through the Central Front, time marches on. The northwest city of Thousand is under siege and will only be a matter of time before it falls. When that time comes, the Imperial Army will hold an impenetrable position. Oof. Mid-May, 1935, Galleon Headquarters. Seven. Number seven, I, I feel terrible I have to address you in such a manner. I'm currently a member of Squad 422, so please pay it no mind. Major General Eisler personally requested this mission be given to you. So. That's right. There's a reason why this mission can only be given to your squad. This is a Yigdis Bishop, Gennaro Borgia. It's a pleasure to meet you. He is an emissary of peace sent from the Imperial Yigdis Church. He's come a long way. He's come a long way. But the man in charge of the Galleon operation, Maximilian, is a war fanatic. So that's the Imperial operation in Gallia. Maximilian, he is a war fanatic, yeah. He's... We don't want to be discovered by the Imperials as we transport his eminence back to Imperial territory. Therefore, I wanted to entrust this escort mission to the Nameless. Originally, I wanted to make an official request to visit the Principality of Gallia. But the fires of war spread too quickly. And the two countries' hate for each other grew. I pray that peace will arrive soon. Those who suffer in war are not the soldiers or the rulers. But the people. I'm willing to walk through hell for them. If you can understand my dream, can you lend me a hand? Yes, yes, sir. I knew you wouldn't turn this down. I really am sorrowful that I can't call you by name here. I will follow your orders carefully. Please entrust this escort to me. Then it's yours. The future of Gallia rests on the success of this mission. This type of covert mission only a small squadron like yours can accomplish. Godspeed. No matter where you are, I will always be looking out for you. Your, your escort will have to listen to Borgia's requests, is that alright? Understood. Hmm, interesting. Oh my goodness. 国境線を目指して出発する 
Tomorrow, our squad will begin the operation to escort His Eminence Borgia safely out of the country. Wait, you want us to pass through Imperial occupied territory? You've got to be kidding. How many lives are you going to throw away? Once we reach the nation's border, how are we even getting back? We don't have any support. Why is everyone so pessimistic escorting His Eminence Borgia is a big honor. Don't be so negative. Wow, you're really enthusiastic about this. Amy, are you a Yigdist? Yigdism, isn't that the religion that worships the Valkyria? That's right, His Eminence Borgia is a great man. Before, when His Eminence Borgia came to Gallia, in order to hear him speak, all the Gallian followers rushed to hear him. It looks like Cardinal Borgia is quite well known. If his location was revealed, that would cause all sorts of problems. Considering his influence, the Imperials think of him as a constant thorn. His Eminence Borgia's sermons are very easy to understand and are very popular with the common people. His teachings tell us that even if we're poor or incapable, in the end we will be saved. That sounds like something that would be popular. At the influence of my father, I joined Yigdism. Then man, you're getting deep into some you know religious philosophy questions here. Then has your father been saved? Not yet. Of course. We're leaving tomorrow. Everyone prepare yourselves. Are we... Oh, goodness. Take note of the details of the operation. We're about to start the escort of Cardinal Borgia in the APC headed toward the Imperial border. Means we're probably not going to have our tank most of the time. Intelligence indicates that there is a large number of enemy troops stationed near the border. To break through the enemy territory, we'll need to operate in secret and we'll need to adapt quickly to any changes. On the road, we may encounter enemy forces. When that happens, the most important thing is to protect the APC and break through. We cannot let Cardinal Borgia be captured by the enemy, so I want everyone to be cautious and act swiftly. Be sure to never lower your guard. We're moving out. We had a decent stopping point here. Yeah, here we go. Shin has joined the squad. Oh, we're gonna have a... Yeah. A warm welcome. A warm welcome to the newest member. Number 58, Shin Huga. I'm from a foreign I am from a foreign country and I'm not used to the customs here. Please treat me well. Okay, this is actually a decent place to stop, but the way that I'm going to edit things, this transition that I'm given is probably going to be in the middle of an episode, so I apologize for that. But, um, uh, oh, no, I do not. 
push to proceed without saving. I would like to save. There we go. Um, yeah, interesting how this is kind of progressing. Uh, you know, the... Oh, no. Dang it. Yes. Okay, we'll pick this back up uh, with the next one. I'll, I'll just kind of restart this. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I certainly am. It's interesting how this is set up like it it doesn't have the natural breaks. You know, keep in mind this was on a handheld system. And so the way that the school system broke up in Valkyria Chronicles 2, it, was, it would have been very easy just to kind of turn it off and pick it back up and, you know, just kind of go when you were always going back to that main school thing. But as you could just kind of see with what we've had here um, at the end of a lengthy place uh, session, I ended up with like 20 minutes of just exposition dump there. And, uh, you know, that's been fairly common during my first like seven hours of gameplay thus far. So um, anyway, uh, pretty interesting to see how things have progressed since Valkyria Chronicles 2. You'll probably be hearing this uh, little bit of stuff in the middle of an episode that is continuing this story about uh, Borgia. And so I hope you do enjoy that. And, uh, of course, we've got uh, playlists for Valkyria Chronicles 1, 2, 3, and 4 all linked in the video description. As always... Thanks for watching. Welcome back, everybody. We're continuing Valkyria Chronicles 2, and based on the way that I'm going to edit this, this is going to be in the middle of an episode. So, welcome back to the video that you're already watching. We've got some sort of uh, Darks and Youth thing to watch here before we help escort Cardinal Borgia uh, over here. Uh, he's a Yggdist. And, you know, I don't remember the Yggdist faith from Valkyria Chronicles 1. It was probably there. But, uh, you know, our, our biggest exposure to the Yggdicism uh, was, uh, at least this far in the game, was the, the female um, bad guy uh, from Valkyria Chronicles 2, whose name escapes me. Dang it, what was her name? She had the big tank, she shot rockets. I don't remember. Anyway, okay, let's see here. Darks and Youth. Yes. All right, I've got everything on the list. All that's left is to get some candy. You're too slow. It's already past time to evacuate. Please wait. My child and I got separated. It doesn't matter, this is an evacuation, not a picnic. Do they want to flee to the south? You darksin child! How dare you steal my watch! Ah! I've told you, I don't know what watch you're talking about. That's why you're suspicious, you dirty darksin. Anybody recognize him? What did you say? Are you saying that I'm a thief just because I'm darksin? That's right. All darksins are guys who would burn and loot without blinking an eye. Don't insult the darks and people. If you say one more word. Hey, hold on a second. Chew on this while you calm down. What are you doing? Are you here to insult me too? I'm not here to insult you. Just relax and eat it. <laughs> what use would that be? What's your problem? This kid stole my watch. I don't steal things from other people. I told you to chew. Let me handle this for a bit. <laughs> Is the watch that was stolen valuable? It 
It's made of gold. I put it in my pocket and this guy stole it. A lot of people come through here. Was there anyone else that saw him steal it? This punk's hands are fast. Since you've noticed your watch has been stolen, you haven't lifted your eyes off him, right? That's right, I haven't even blinked. Then he should have the watch on him somewhere, right? Uh. I will search him, but if I don't find the gold watch... You are to apologize to him, and that apology will be sincere. Understand? Apologize? Are you joking? Who would apologize to a Darkson? If you're confident enough to say in public that he's a thief, isn't that what you should do? Shut up, meddling in other people's business. You, you don't forget this. I thought he'd be tougher than that. He ran away so quickly. Why, why did you help a dark son? I wasn't trying to help you. I just thought that you were losing face and getting too angry after being framed. What? What? So you do still hate Darksons then? Hate Darksons? Not at all. On the contrary, I'm grateful to them. Grateful? Everything I have today is because one Darkson trusted me. What? He's a trustworthy man, not just me. My entire squad trusts him. So that Darkson is a soldier? That's right. A soldier? Don't tell me you want to be a soldier. Forget about this dangerous occupation. There are too many corals in the world. Uh. Hmm? In any case, shouldn't you be evacuating? Just focus on staying alive for now. Pretty confident that was Zeri. From Valkyria Chronicles 2. Oh no. Oh no. Escort the APC reaches its destination. Breakthrough forest or breakthrough city? They're both gonna be a mess. I just know it. It's gonna be awful. All right, we're gonna try going. We're gonna try going through the forest this time. While escorting Cardinal Borgia, Imperial forces were encountered in the forest. Scouts confirmed the enemy has deployed lancers and bunkers. Be careful of area shelling while moving the escort APC to the target location in Area Four. Intel reports that the enemy will be heavily bombarding the area with mortars. To so take caution, scout, lancer, shock trooper, and an AT. Turret. Hmm. Those AT turrets were. I mean, all the turrets were a pain in Valkyria Chronicles 2, so we'll just have to see. Hmm. No, well, interesting. I mean, that certainly appeared to be Zeri back there. Um, yeah, so we don't get to deploy a vehicle. Oh, no, they got the active. Uh, the active whatever fire ooh and it looks like mist maybe is that what the 
missed in yeah that and that's going to affect our accuracy shoot hmm boy I get the impression this is going to be a long one as well um yeah so one can come up here into three We'll put put Rayla up here as well, and then we'll put Imka. Wait, uh, there are not. Yeah, there are not any tanks, but we do still have to worry about the bunker. Julio. Uh, sure. Just in case. Hey, you know what? Hey, hang on. Well, yeah, we're already here. I want to figure out how I can label somebody else as a leader. I thought that it said last time that Kurt could name someone else as a leader for more command points. But I may, frankly, I may have dreamt that because I don't know. I don't know things about stuff. Um... Alright, Clarissa, you're gonna charge around- or you're gonna chase around the APC. And who else do we need here? I don't know. Annika? Sure. All right. Sassy guitar. I don't know. I'm hoping that uh, I forget what the the bad guy squad was in that that Darkson group that we fought. But they were effective. Stay alert. Don't get careless. Careless is my middle name. All right, so oh, escort missions. The objective of an escort mission is to move the APC to a designated location. The escort APC moves and fires the same as a non-customized APC. However, it cannot transport any additional personnel. Furthermore, the escort APC cannot travel through the reinforcement option available at your camps. To advance to the next area, approach a camp while moving in action mode and the option change area will appear. Afterwards, the APC's turn will end, and it will be moved to the next area's linked base. Of course, should the APC be destroyed, the mission will automatically end in failure. Stay away from dangerous enemies in order to escort the APC safely. Area Effect Mist When fighting in forests or valleys, the area may occasionally be affected by mist. Most uh, mist causes a decrease in accuracy, making it much harder to hit enemies. Shock troopers normally have low accuracy, and the mist condition will make it even worse, so keep that in mind for your own troops. Hmm. Break through the enemy entrapment and continue to our destination. Our objective is to ensure His Eminence Borgia's safety. Protect the APC and hold back enemy forces. It's up to you, Captain. May the Valkyria be with you. The priority will be to eliminate the Lancers and tanks in the APC's path. I don't think there were any tanks. Move out. Wait, I hope I didn't miss any tanks. I mean, ultimately it doesn't change anything. I can't bring my tank. Now that Lancer is going to be a problem for us. Let's go ahead. Alphonse. With all his hit points, gonna go do some exploring. A gentleman? How nice. What is that person? I can't tell. Ah, good. Target? Okay. Got some mines. I think those are anti-personnel, but they are going to hurt. He can't move any further, right? Yeah. He, uh, no. Oh, shoot. I did not mean for him to end his turn. Shucks. Yeah, we want our APC to be able to just kind of go rip snorting right through there, frankly. Um. And target. You know what? Let's go ahead and try and get around the back. There we go, target. Oh, yeah. The accuracy is quite a bit worse. In the mist. I mean, not bad. 
Not bad, frankly. Okay. Now that he's here, we can just maybe... Oh! Oh! Uh, you know what? We're just gonna leave him standing there. It's gonna be fine. I forgot that that whole area was gonna be inflicted by that, too. Afflicted by that. Um... Now, who is it that undoes mines? Clarissa, let's get you out of here. Boy, I feel like it might be these guys. Yeah, I think it's these guys that undo the mines. Ailment immunity. Target. Perfect. There we go. Oh, yeah. He stepped on it, got it disarmed. No big deal. There we go. I'd love to have him keep running away, but as long as that machine gunner is there, machine gun and things with its machine gun, you know. There's problems. Spicy food lover. I don't even know how to feel about that. Okay, and it should get some bonuses by sitting in this point. Good. Okay, things are not awful at the moment. I mean, it's really only a matter of time if I'm if I'm being honest. Um, shock trooper that's not crouched down, so that's something. Where do you think the bunker is going to be? Like over here, maybe. There's got, there's got to be a bunker out here. I don't think mist affects our ability to to see things. It's just accuracy. Yeah. Thank you, get you. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, we know, we know where it is now. So, what are we gonna do? I mean, frankly, the APC will be able to, like, blitz through there pretty darn fast. Let's go get... Ah, you know what? I'm curious. I wanna, I wanna look... Before we move too far forward, I wanna go look up here. Oh, good. There's nothing. All right. And, uh, oh, well, okay, yeah. End phase. Let's hope that our guy who's standing in the live fire zone does okay with this. <laughs> Imka? That it doesn't even flinch. That guy clearly did not see her amazing bazooka sword gun thing. That is awesome. I love how their little shield thing works. Oh, and you can rotate it too. Wow, that's going to make actually taking those guys out a real pain. We still got, yeah, okay, we got people in the point, so it's not like we're going to lose from them, them capping. Enemy reinforcements, ugh. Buckle up. Nice. Alphonse, you're doing fine. My Tane. My Sharona. dun 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 Where's your where's your mortar? This is ridiculous. 
Boy. <laughs> That's, that scout wandered into the wrong part of town. Okay. Hmm. I don't remember that map area. Um, boy, if that AT gun is sitting right there, just ready to wreck, wreck stuff and people, that's not great. Um, how about we just take. I was considering doing the direct attack thing or whatever they call it, but ultimately just not even not even really that necessary. But direct control, there it is. I remembered. Okay, and that will hopefully get someone the ability to go get behind that turret. Nice little, nice little bit of some stuff happening down there. Now, what about escort APC up the middle? Spicy food lover. I like that. I mean, that must be, you know, under fire. <laughs> Can't quite get down there, huh? All right. Yeah, it is what it is. You're out of action points, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I actually did not think that it would make it that whole way. Um, but now we've got some flexibility since we got what's his name picked up. Uh, who do we need to get through this? Uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do Layla. Target? Oh, he turned. All right. Well done. <laughs> All right, so we have some interesting characters, you know? Target, target, come on now. Escort APC gonna help? Perfect. Now she should be able to occupy the APC. Well, I don't know, I guess, if the APC is gonna be able to go without using another command point. Will it? Yes, yeah, I can't tell. I don't want it to retreat. Okay, all right. We gotta, gotta use the command point. Change area is what we needed. There we go. Okay. I don't really need to get it that close just yet. And we can have Kurt. Kurt. All right. Good. Take it, get you. We got mines over there. Okay, that's not great for us. Um, I'm just hoping there's nothing anti-tank like you know hidden over here somewhere. Uh, and how about Area Four? What do we? What do? What do we? Ooh. One of those, I see. Well, the good news is we'll be able to run troops at it, so. I don't care a whole lot, frankly. Um, let's get her out of there. Him holding down the fort there is not terrible for us. She's doing some okay things. 
And so up here. Hmm. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe Imka. Yeah. Yeah, Imka can start working on that anti tank turret. You guys trying to shoot at her with your tomfoolery. Nice. Wow. Okay. I admit that I was not expecting that to work given her accuracy thus far. And the fact that she has to just smack the heck out of that gun. Okay. You guys just keep being distracted by him. Perfect, you can have it. We gonna lose morale for that? Nope. Good. Yeah, yeah, you tell him. Where, uh, where are you going? Her uniform is not practical. Not a practical uniform. Wow, she survived. <laughs> wow. All right. Lost some, yeah, lost some morale for that one. Oh, and they got reinforcements. That's fine. Particularly with her standing there. She will educate you. Oh, okay. Well, thank goodness they didn't spawn in Bazooka. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's fine. We still got people on the other side to recap. Boy, once he started hitting, he started hitting hard. Okay, good. Yimka is at least still alive. Now, down here, I mean, there's a decent chance that she could just make it all the way through. I'm worried about that AT bunker thing, of course. But I don't know that I'm that worried about it. I, well, I mean, it's, it's anti-tank. It's, like, built to take us out, to take out the APC that we're specifically guarding here. Can we get around this mine? Is that okay? Perfect. Hmm. Maybe a grenade. Oh, or I saw I saw it was only 14. There we go. Perfect. Hey. I was not expecting that to work. Okay. Now the APC will mostly be dealing with mortars. A couple tank mines we can hopefully avoid here. All right, no problem. If I know anything about the APC, it's that the APC don't care. Okay, now we got this tomfoolery back here behind us. Um, who should I just get out of the bad situation that they are in? I'm okay with him standing right there. It's not really that big of a deal for us. Yeah, okay, we gotta... I mean, Imka can definitely do some things up there, but we need somebody right here. Felix. This guy's been the, Boy, the biggest complainer during, during the gameplay thus far, so he better not miss. Better not miss like a chump, Felix. Good. 
APC is still better than making a mistake. Okay. All right. Let us advance to freedom. Perfect. Boy, that dude. I, I just, I forget how small these maps are. It wasn't even really that he covered a bunch of land. It was just, it's that small. Did you seriously miss the sandbags? You hit the sandbags when you were crouched behind them before, okay, Imka? My gosh, what what was that? What? What was that? Hmm? All right, well. Let's get, uh, ooh, boy, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Alphonse, you're feeling better. Let's get up here, buddy. Let's get Imka out of here and let's go, let's go. Ch chuck a grenade on this particular character. Perfect. And you can just stand right there. All right. Uh, one command point left here, huh? Felix, let's do some things with some stuff, buddy. Hmm, target. Stay on target. All right. Insensitivity? Yeah, he, he is insensitive. To be fair, he has been kind of rude to work with thus far. All right. Get down. All right. Put some pants on, Layla. Not a practical uniform. <sighs> Deet. We still got somebody standing back there. Yep. Good. This is great. Interesting to see how they've changed those uh, armored techs. Okay. Oof, boy. I think he got headshot damage there, even though he's crouched down, but I guess he's not behind sandbags, so the headshot damage is still, you know, a problem for him. Perfect. What do you got for me, hmm? Felix. Okay, guys just have such low defense. And our accuracy is not good, too. It's, we're terrible. <laughs> Everything about our squad is awful. Um, yeah, Let's get him out of here. Let's get him in here. You can. Start bringing the pain. His potential is a genius too. We just have like multiple geniuses. If everybody's a genius, nobody's a genius, okay? Uh... And target. Mostly I want to get somebody so they can look down this pathway to confirm whether there is an anti-tank gun sitting at the end of this. Okay, all right, just a lancer. Oh, uh, you know what? He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a, like a anti-tank gun sitting down there. All right. Let's see how far we can make it with the APC. We're not turning at all. We're going straight. 
The fact that Borgia's, like, APC, well, I guess it's our APC, whatever. Oh, uh, oh all right, we got out of there. <laughs> but, like, that the APC carrying this VIP is so distinctly mid is pretty disappointing, you know? Can we target this person? Is there any... Man. No, we made it. Okay. I thought we had to get to the other side of that lance here, but... Okay. I still need to improve, but this was a good battle. That humble guy. He's just so darn likable. Only four people died. I'd still get the S rank. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. Valkyria Salvation. By the way, the fact that Borgia's name is so close to Borg, uh, concerning given Valkyria Chronicles 1. Do you know about the Valkyria Salvation Theory? No, I don't know a thing about Yigdism. Then I'll explain it to you simply. That way you will understand the kind of man you are escorting to the border. I see. Go on. In ancient times, the Darksons scorched the earth so deeply that there was no place left to live. The Valkyria, also known as the Azure Saviors, came to save mankind. I believe this Valkyria salvation story exists for the common people to spread. To save mankind? That's right. One day the Valkyria will return and save the earth. No matter your race or social standing, everyone will be saved. If you say it like that, it's easy to understand, Yigdism. But I don't believe that the Valkyria really exist. And I don't believe in God, either. Because I've never seen them with my own eyes. There's nothing wrong with your reasoning. Even I have not met them. But the important thing is whether the Valkyria exist. Oh, but the important thing isn't whether the Valkyria exist. It's about giving people hope. People need to believe they'll be saved. Religion can end wars, and it can guide people to walk on the correct path. Can't we rely on our own strength to save ourselves? Why should humanity wait for help? Not everyone has your capability or status. For some, all they can do is wait. I'm sorry, but I can't understand what you mean. You don't need to force it. Just leave a little room in your heart for these thoughts and that'll be enough. Your words are quite interesting. I'm, uh, thank you. Hmm. Okay. So he told you those things, huh? It's... It's not that I didn't understand him. The stories my grandmother used to tell me had Valkyria in them. A grandmother? I was an orphan. It was my grandfather and grandmother who raised me. They always told me stories, some strict, some tender. I love them very much. Where are they now? Two months ago, my grandmother died and I no longer had a place to live. So I joined the militia, left my village, and started my search for uh, paradise. When I left, I discovered that the outside world isn't so beautiful. Really? What were you doing before you enlisted in the army? I was born in Randgrees. My entire family runs a small emporium. I received a recommendation to go to military school. Thanks to my excellent grades, the school waived my tuition fee. Then you've been smart ever since you were a kid. I always like to ponder over possible outcomes. So you like to ponder. Kurt, you really must stand out from the crowd. He is unique. The way I think, there's nothing as scary as life. That's probably just your nature. I feel like it's quite natural. Hmm. Alright. 
A little bit of character building there. I like it. Are we still in the same cutscene? My goodness. Currently, we still have a day's worth of travel before we reach the Imperial border. I hope we don't run into any setbacks. Oh, boy. Foreshadowing. Yeah. There we go. Status report. The village up ahead is being attacked by the Imperials. It looks like these people are the refugees that have just arrived. Oh. You've got to be kidding. How could the town watch fight Imperials? We have to help them. The Imperials won't spare civilians. Ugh. Hey, pull yourself together, damn it. What are we going to do? Kurt, will we go to rescue them? The mission has priority. We can't... Captain, what's wrong? The report says the refugees are being attacked by the Imperials. How can that be? Can you go rescue them? If there is truly a need, we can't let them die. Inform everyone, please. Sir. Oh my gosh, come on now. Come on now. You going off mission parameters? You going off mission parameters? We're going rogue. Breeden, huh? Evacuate civilians. Interesting. A joint op with Zeri. Yeah, I thought that was Zeri. Okay. Imka's weakness. We'll catch up on... Well, yeah, let's go ahead and watch it. Let's see what we got. Imka's weakness. Candy? What do you think? Is it candy? Do you maintain your weapon yourself? Other people can't do it. It looks like you can't do it yourself either. I'm not as strong as you. Hmm? I'm done. There's no more problems. Do you want to rest a bit? I have some coffee. No need. You don't like it? No need. I don't want to drink it, nor do I like it. Are you two having some afternoon coffee? No, it seems that Imka doesn't like to drink coffee. If you don't like the bitterness, why don't you put some milk in it and have some milk coffee? Add some of this warm milk I bought. That is some sound effects right there, by golly. Here, try some. What, people drink this stuff? What's wrong? It's not bitter anymore, right? Cow's milk, it'll kill people. <laughs> She's a milk conspiracy theorist. I knew it. I knew it, the milk conspiracy theory, just, it's, it's permeating everything. Nonsense, cow's milk lets people feel re-energized. Hmm, really always does seem to be energetic. Look, milk's my favorite. But if you drink too much, it's not good for you. Utter nonsense. Oh, they, they even got the... Yep, ut, utter. That's good. They did good there. The more milk you drink, the healthier, the healthier you'll be. That statement has no basis. Don't you think my body is strong? I've never had a broken bone, and I've always had more stamina than others. Yeah, yeah, you have, haven't you? That's weird. Hmm. Ever since I was small, I've never needed a doctor for my colds. Become strong? Then I'll have some. Forget it. Nope, never mind. Relax, I'm not tricking you. Oh, so that's how it is. So you know the power of milk, too? I'm not talking about the milk. I'm talking about your attitude. Huh? You said you used to feel like an outsider. Second Lieutenant Gunter's squad, their squad members were all open about their ideas. Relio was just like them a second ago, freely expressing her thoughts. If Kurt likes it this way, then I'll keep talking like this. If you're like this, everyone will talk to you. Really? What do you say, Emka? No, I still won't drink it. I'm not doing it. It's not happening. <laughs> Is she challenging me? <laughs> no, she just doesn't. She's lactose intolerant, okay? You guys want, like, biohazard running around on your team here because of some lactose? Just leave her alone about it, all right? Occupy target enemy bases. We should probably... Yeah. We should 
Swing back by the base camp. Do some base campy type things. Uh, and maybe, yeah, review, review personnel. Maybe this is where we can label someone else as a leader if I, if I was even right about that. Dossier. No, yeah, well, looks like we got some more people coming. Valerie. Uh, no, I don't have any. Okay. All right, no big deal. I will come back and look at those later. I was just trying to see if there was a place where I could... Uh, assign another leader for command point purposes. I know. I know. I'm right there with you. Uh, oh, maybe in here? Interesting. So yeah, we can just freely assign people. Well. Yeah, like Imka. Uh, well, no, with, with her weapon. They probably won't let us, like, reassign her just yet. Should we make Gloria one of the big shield people? Gloria. Alright, anyway. Um... Train, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Resupply, train versus armor. Yeah, we'll do that. Increase maximum hit points. Sure. Sure. And evasion two, why not? Okay. <laughs> I should point out, I chuckle, but I'm very jealous of being able to like speak another language. I've always, I've always I kind of thought that it would be fun to, to learn uh, another language. I took like absolutely terrible high school Spanish and then uh, I, I picked up just a little bit of French at one point, and, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. And that is just about it. Hello there. Hi. It's great to see you. Um, oh, combat suit uh, for the Lancers. Uh, I mean, oh, copper bullet. Versus personnel up. Is it just one of these we can buy? We'll buy a cheaper one first. Yeah, yeah, you can only buy one. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll also go with the better gun. We'll go with the better bazooka. Uh, oh. Another better bazooka. Two, two upgrades on the bazookas here. More hammer. Insufficient funds. Okay. That is just fine. By golly. Um, okay, okay. Back to the map. Going in here to occupy target base camps. What do we even have? In Breeden. Help the rural villagers escape an Imperial attack. Work with the town watch to occupy the base camps in areas three and four. Ooh, so why do we need to even have medium tank MG turret? Oof. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't see anything about, like, it being dark or misty or anything like that, so. We've at least got that going for us. Um, hmm. oh good, we can, we can deploy our vehicle. Assuming, of course, that the tank is still the tank, right? Yeah. Why won't you guys let me have... There we go. Bam. 
Nah, we'll leave it as nameless for now. Just so that, just to make the bad guys wonder. Oh. Oh yeah. Trying to think of where we have construction options here. The big one is that bridge. But I don't know that I'm too worried about it. I mean, we'll be able to get up there reasonably easy, I think. All right, anyway, let's see our position. We got Zeri holding down the fort in four. Where is he? Okay, so he's right down there. So up here, we'll go ahead and go with Kurt. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're only worried about three and four. Why would I even need to go into one and two? I don't know what to make of this. This this map layout is not making sense. Oops, this map layout is not making a lot of sense to me. Why would I ever need to, well, I don't know. And we'll put, uh, we'll put Sergei in here. <sighs> Let's see, over here we'll go Alphonse. My guy. And we'll just leave it at that. Let's see what we got happening. I think that during this loading screen, I have just decided to order pizza. In case anyone was curious. Pepperoni pizza, by the way. I'm a I'm a thin crust pepperoni guy with uh with jalapenos. Yeah. <laughs> Get lost, Imperial Scum. Okay, well, I mean, being able to build the bridge would have been moderately helpful for us over there. Whoop. What? Those soldiers in black uniforms are galleons? Galleons. Wait, this reminds me. We're a special squad of Gallia. We've come with orders to destroy the Imperial Army. I don't want to cause trouble for a town watch, so please step aside. That person's... Eat I've come to rescue you. Don't die on me. <laughs> y yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. I shan't die on you. Um, so, I mean... This really does just appear to be real hideously straightforward. You guys keep on shooting. Uh, you know what? Let's see. I am curious about what a mortar might do to this thing. And I don't want to use... Okay. All right, well. Moved him around a little bit, at least. I don't want to use my two anti-tank rounds yet. So I would rather use them when we get a look at the back end of this tank. Target. Stay on target. Oop. Crap. No, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so now maybe we can just have Imka take oh, care of it. I mean, assuming she can hit the darn thing. Every once in a while, she gets real inaccurate. Inaccurate? Disaccurate. She gets disaccurate. Okay. What else do we have? Hey, man, what are we even, what are we even talking about here? What are we even talking about? Zeri? Ugh, oh, Zeri. Alright. This was only two years before Zeri went to Land Seal, so this is, you know. He's not that young. Darks and pride, competitive. Just keep on the running. There's gonna be somebody laying in the grass, probably. Oh no! Wow. I mean, it's not my decision. You gonna even make it? You're not even gonna make it. 
I mean, he made it to the zone, but not able to cap it. Hmm. So close, Zeri. So close. Um, maybe Zeri will join the squad. Like, I choose to be nameless. It's like alternate, uh, alternate reality. This is, this is like the metaverse thing. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, I mean... We got people down here to do stuff. Um, see, I just hope we don't even have to worry about those two areas. And as long as these guys can just go cap that. Which is this... This... If this was a travel spawn point, it would come up right there. <laughs> the way that these are all connected, so... Whatever. All right. Deet. Let's go, let's go hammer some people, buddy. With your fancy hat. I'm sorry. What? I don't even know what that word was. Boy, he almost made it. This was, this was very nearly a one-turn victory. If Zeri could have taken two more steps, fallen forward, and activated that flag. That guy. Zeri. You know what's gonna happen. <sighs> We're gonna cap these points, and then it's gonna be like, okay, now you gotta kill everybody. <laughs> Although I can't think of the mission objective changing like that in many of these. Perhaps literally none, I can't, I just don't remember. Hammer time in deep. Love the, uh, love the enthusiasm, love the confidence. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so we gotta hammer time that person out of there. Reinforcements. How dare you? Imka, return fire. Use the blade end of that weapon, okay? Our objective is just to capture those areas, right? Or is it capture the areas and kill everybody? I don't know. I'm worried about it. Uh, menu objectives. Occupy the base camps. All right. I'm not one to challenge what the bosses tell me to do. Deet, on the other hand, I mean he'll <laughs> he'll do it for fun. He doesn't even care. Perfect. <laughs> Superior defense. <laughs> And target. Huh. Boom. And Stomach. occupy. Okay. Boom. All right. Zeri. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we did not. Uh, we didn't get mission complete right there. Success. If this continues, the Imperial Army will. Wait. That's. Yep. Looks like that's the enemy's main force. Everyone, change of objective. The new target is to eliminate the enemy commander. Oh, gosh dang it. If we kill the commander, the enemy will fall to pieces. Move out. Amazing. That decision was made without a second thought. I, I'll, I'll definitely keep on living. <laughs> okay, Zeri. Thanks, buddy. Dang it. Yeah, victory condition changed. Oh, wow. Strategic reinforcements. Ooh. During missions, the enemy will sometimes receive reinforcements from areas other than their camps. 
This is called uh, a spe this is a special tactic available only to the enemy called strategic reinforcement. As the placement of such reinforcements are unpredictable, our bases can be caught off guard. Don't keep all your units in one place, otherwise the sudden reinforcements will be difficult to handle. What I'm most worried about is do I still have to keep this base? Like, no. Okay, that is no longer labeled as an objective. Gosh dang it. Just, I even, I was wondering about that this whole heck darnin' time. Boy, what's, I mean, we should, we should have brought the thing to build the bridge. Um, you know what's actually going to be faster for us is retreating the tank, dispatching the tank. <laughs> That's how you save some AP right there. Okay, okay. You guys are mean. Stop it. Obviously, we're struggling, okay? We got a lamp in the middle of the day. It's like a beacon. It's like a beacon of hope for the bad guys. Just don't have to be so mean all the time, all right? You, in particular. Probably need to get some... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get another machine. Yeah. I'm not too worried about leveling Zeri up that much, you know. It's been a while since Anakin's done much for us. Three shots. Bam. All right, Alphonse. Let's do this. Keen mind. Self-conscious. It's all right, buddy. You're doing great things. Camp occupied. Occupado. Uh, we can also then... Uh, stand by. Down here, we can start doing some things with some stuff and some people. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? I'm honestly not even sure. Yeah. Yeah, I figured there had to be some people over here. But honestly, not as many as I was expecting. Shock troop commander. Grenade lands in your lap. Oop. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I just want to get up there and cap that. Uh, let's get, uh, I don't know, somebody in, somebody in here to hold down the fort. Okay, now we see what they do. I'm not even sure I'm gonna deal with that. Yeah, just imagine trying to get that guy. Like you're gonna have to use a grenade, or you're gonna have to use another armored tech to go get him out of this place. Maybe I mean maybe this. Yeah. All right. Never mind. That is a way to do it. Now we know. Okay. Boy, now I'm just thinking about pizza. 
What kind of pizza do you like? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure that I've ever found a pizza that I didn't like. <laughs> to, to be clear. Oh, wow. All right, that did not hurt very much, actually. Layla, doing some good things. Boy, ooh, that got close. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I mean, sure, they got some ability to do some stuff with some things and some places with some people, but I just don't know that I really... I don't... I'm not... Okay, I'm not real worried about it, to be honest with you. I see the tank mine, so we will avoid the tank mine. It's called strategy. Ah, uh, that might... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I conflate the two all the time as to whether it's a tank mine or if it's a... Anti-personnel. Wow. Shit, sure, that blasted him out of the zone. Um, no, still got one in the zone. Okay. Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome to the jungle. We like fun and games. I'm just so worried he's gonna miss. We've just been so terribly yeah all right here we go okay <laughs> just challenge him to miss that one you know like come on all right now we should be able to get her up here to cap and there we go all right, now we can get her out of there. Yeah, we got a lot of people deployed for not having a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, you guys aren't even in, yeah, you're, not, you're not even in a withdraw area. Shoot, who is? Imka? But is Imka really gonna help me? No, but I don't, I don't really know that I care. Um, so up here, we could always bring in the tank. I mean, when in doubt, a tank is a good answer, you know? Boy, that, that was a quick turn. Alright. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand anything they're saying, of course, but I love the inflection. Like, ooh, like was it was that supposed to be sultry? <laughs> was it was that what that just was? Um, I mean, we could bring out the tank, and w that'll at least get us. Oh, that'll at least get us looking in the door. It's it doesn't have a ton of action points at this point, uh, you know. Right it, in this uh, cycle, it doesn't have a ton of. You keep shooting at me, that guy in the background. You keep shooting your own buddy. All right. Still got a mortar. All right. Mortar is not going to hurt the Lancer Elite. So what do we want to try and do? Oh boy. Yeah, we'll get, we'll knock him out of cover at least. Oh! Why not? Okay, I must have uh, uh, hit the wrong button. I don't know. I am unclear exactly what happened right there. I actually might pull the tank back just a little bit so that bazooka person can't see it. 
immediately. Still gonna be able to see it immediately. Okay, well. Alright. <laughs> okay, so down here, it's really gonna be about... Boy, we could start getting Imka moving around the side over there. That may not be a bad plan. In case we need to take out their medium tank by flanking. I'm sorry, malnutrition? You are like one of our best soldiers and you suffer from malnutrition. Wow. Ten hit points left on that person. Hit I hit the end turn thing. Goodness gracious. Whew. Alright. And for the next one, we might have her we might give her no. We might give her the uh, healing order. Just to make sure she doesn't die. Quest heal from good old Kurt. I forget that guy's name is Kurt sometimes, you know? Man. Why is it only Darksons that receive this fate? What was... Oh, yeah, okay. I, I envisioned the tank guy when he said that. My mistake. Believe me, we are an equal opportunity, let the troops die sort of employer, okay? Anybody who's anybody can be left to, you know, go on a suicide run in terms of my strategy. Oh, bazooka guy. Coming to have a look. Let him have a tank. All right. Uh, oh yeah. We gotta upgrade that Gatling gun. That thing is, it's just a pea shooter right now. Right, not Gatling gun, the machine gun. The machine gun that's on the tank. We gotta upgrade. Yeah, you guys go cap that point. Definitely. Definitely go do it. All right. More reinforcements, huh? How dare they! Really helping their, uh, their morale, you know? That's good. We don't want them to get too, too sad about their experiences. Okay. All right, let's see what Imka can do here. See if we can get back around behind that tank. She does not have many action points. Should be able to see it this next time. So it seemed like she acknowledged that maybe she could not maintain the weapon. Or that she, like, needed help maintaining it or something? Yeah, okay. Yeah, her, her back here is, is... She's got five rounds left, I think. Yeah. Oh! Wow, all right, there we go. There it is, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm speechless. Darn right, Zeri. Wow, still got the S rank. All right, got some people skill leveling up. Great. Can we get back to just escorting the APC that I know is going to be a tedious mission that I don't want to have to deal with? Kurt's hobby. Okay. The operation is over. Amy, tell the refugees that the danger is past. 
Everyone, His Eminence Borgia is the one who rescued us today. Oh, Borgia, your eminence. Thank you. I'm glad that everyone is safe. You've just received the Valkyria's protection. It's because of His Eminence Borgia that we've received the Valkyria's protection. All right. Uh, it looks like that person's influence is quite strong. When I saw that uniform, I was wondering if it would be you. And it is. You're that kid from before. My name is Zeri. What's yours? Kurt. You saved me again. Thank you. You should be thanking His Eminence Borgia. No, you were the ones who risked their lives, so you're the ones who deserve thanks. Kurt, will we be garrisoned in the village tonight? Throwing a party? Is that what's going to happen? You, you savages. That sounds appropriate, given that we can let his eminence and the squad members rest up for a bit. A darkson. Don't tell me this is... That's right, my benefactor, Gusurg. Benefactor? That's something I should be saying. Hey. Without Kurt's assistance, I wouldn't be able to stand here today. Kurt, you got help from a galleon? What happened to the numbers, by the way? Where's our where's our opsec here? Do you not believe me? I'm not lying or anything. One day you'll meet a person who will change your life too. That person may not be a darkson. Kusurg. You should head back now. The less we know each other, the better. All right. A person that will change my life. Yeah, he's a good guy. And the bird, he's got a bird. Good old Zeri. It's a good thing we rescued those villagers today. That's right. Hmm. That's wrong. This isn't the flavor. Oh, okay. Too bitter. Next time I'll use less of it. I'd like to ask you a question. Just what are you up to? We can grow all sorts of herbs and spices in every environment. Cooking is my hobby. I didn't think you would like this kind of thing. Although what I do isn't real cooking, I just add herbs and spices. Uh, how did you come to like cooking? There's nothing right or wrong in cooking, so I was constantly researching the subject. For example, the foods people like in the summer and winter are completely different. Really? You know the difference between cooking in the morning or at night? Uh, right? Probably. Well, just a bit. Oh, alright. I have no idea. If it involves herbs and spices, it just gets even more complicated. Humidity, temperature, season, freshness of ingredients, these are all things that will affect the taste. Cooking is a world full of infinite possibilities infinite possibilities just from this powder if you use it correctly then you can make even army rations taste delicious which is a real feat in and of itself basically you just kill rations with hot sauce and you know maybe some some energy drink and then you move on isn't that useful hmm i know it has many uses but in the end just what exactly are you trying to do Time to establish some normalcy, okay? Let's have some food. We gotta read into stuff. Is it jarred? Heckin' jarred up in here. Oh no, did I fall asleep? It's already morning. Good morning, Relio. You're still working on it? Hmm, I guess I wasn't keeping track of the time. My word, did I spend the night in your room? I saw you fall asleep, so I didn't want to wake you. What? Oh, no. It's a wild... Oh, God. Come on, now. I didn't do anything to you. <laughs> yeah, of course. I know that, but the rumors will spread quickly among the others. She's a snorer. He knows... He now knows that she's a snorer. Hey, so I heard number seven and Relia slept together. Hmm, and then I guess I need to educate that brat. <laughs> Unwritten rule? 
I was just working with seasoning. Come on, guys. You are indecent. <laughs> Despicable, maybe. Something like that. Good old Imka. 